Man, somebody suddenly pushed my slinky. I wish. Oh, I'm manifesting it. Warning, I'm extra goofy in this one. I don't know if you want that in your science. Man, things are weird getting weirder. How weird are things? Strange waves rippled around the world and nobody knows why. Hey, baby. Are you ready to go out on a date again? I love you. I'm scared. Somebody hold me. Was it a meteor strike? A submarine volcano eruption? An ancient sea monster rising from the deep? A giant alien spaceship? Was it Godzilla? I don't know whatever gave you the idea we're planning a mission. Stay cool. Just out for a ride. A little excursion to discover more facts about our universe. The universe still holds many secrets. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Thor. There are also waves rippling through the interior of stars. Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here to stick around. We're asking people to make sure that they understand, that they understand the risk uh, that Mother Nature, you know, can, can, can hit them with. Many coastal communities are facing an uncertain fate. Oh my God, it is total doom again. Good luck to us all. Today we have, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a story that is gonna be doomy, fun, filled with monsters, probably have cussing, and I might even throw in boobs to lessen the tension. One of the greatest things about being single is I can have a crush on you, ma'am. All right, we're talking about strange waves rippled around the world and nobody knows why. Planet farted? This is brought to us by the National Geographic. Instruments picked up the seismic waves more than 10,000 miles away. But bizarrely, nobody felt them. You're dang right I did. That was a Godlike Productions joke. I'm the Nobody, by Maya Whitehouse, published November 28th, 2018. On the morning of November 11th, just before 9.30, Universal Texas time, a mysterious rumble rolled around the world. It was Godzilla. Yeah, I stole that joke from somebody else. The seismic waves began roughly 15 miles off the shores of Mayoeta, a French island sandwiched between Africa and the northern tip of Madagascar. The waves buzzed across Africa ringing sensors in Zambia, Kenya, and Ethiopia. They traversed vast oceans, humming across Chile, New Zealand, Canada, and even Hawaii, nearly 11,000 miles away. Wow, the suspense is building. These waves didn't just zip by. They rang for more than 20 minutes. And yet, it seems, no human felt them. Was it good for you? Only one person noticed the odd signal on the U.S. Geological Survey's real-time seismogram displays. An earthquake enthusiast who used the handle Matericopakix saw the curious zigzags and posted images of them to Twitter. The small action kicked off another ripple of sorts as researchers around the world attempted to suss out the source of the waves. Was it a meteor strike? A submarine volcano eruption? An ancient sea monster rising from the deep? A giant alien spaceship. Was it Godzilla? Wait, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. X Buds is sure it was Godzilla. And hey, who doesn't love Godzilla? Or maybe a kaiju. LOL JK. And I guess a kaiju is like a nine eyed, devil horned upside down from the jaw monster. But I get <laughs> Where were we? Did Earth give birth to a planet? And we found out that planets actually come out of the middle of the ocean? Ghosts. Giant whale ghosts. Um, aliens? I don't think I've seen anything like it. Well, you didn't see it. You didn't feel it. You didn't hear it. It was just in the data, bro. It says Goran Ekstrom, a seismologist at Columbia University who specializes in unusual earthquakes. Wow. I didn't know there was a specialization in that. I would like to talk to that dude. It doesn't mean that, in the end, the cause of them is erotic. Wait, what? Oh, cause of them is exotic. You can be both exotic and erotic at the same time as an earthquake. They are multifaceted. He notes, yet many features of the waves are remarkably weird. Hey, just like me, and just like you. <laughs> we must remember, with research, there is hope. Yeah. From their surprisingly monotone, low-frequency ring, 
to their global speed, and researchers are still chasing down the geological conundrum. It looks like Johnny's trying to get all of his fancy 10 cent college words in today. I'm trying too hard to be funny. So I'm gonna chill out. Why are low frequency waves so weird? That's what she said. In a normal earthquake, the built up tensions in Earth's crust release with a jolt in mere seconds. Why does earthquake geology always have to be so sexual? This sends out a series of waves known as the wave train. Oh boy. That radiates from a point of the rupture, explains Stephen Hicks, who's no relation to Stephen Hawking, a seismologist at the University of Southampton. I feel like Southampton should be two words. The fastest traveling signals are P waves. All right. Get some spooky action from those P waves, baby. Which are compression waves that move in bunches, like what happens to an extended slinky that gets suddenly pushed at one end. Man, somebody suddenly pushed my slinky. I wish. Oh, I'm manifesting it. Get your sweet little ass over here. I said to myself, next come the secondary waves, or the S waves, which have more of a side to side motion. Both of these are so called body waves. Ooh, have relatively high frequencies. Hicks says, a sort of ping rather than a rumbling. So it was a giant submarine. Maybe it was one of those ocean city balls they always talk about. Finally, chugging along at the end comes slow. What? Finally, chugging along at the end comes slow, long period surface waves. Sentences make more sense if you read the whole thing, I guess. Which are similar to the strange signals that rolled out from the Mayoete. For intense earthquakes, these surface waves can zip around the planet multiple times, ringing Earth like a bell. It says, you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Man, everybody's going to be unsubscribing after this one. Maybe me being in a good mood isn't such a good thing. Maybe I should just stick to the science. All right, let's do that. I love your face. We ain't gonna get married or nothing. I just want to rub your booty for a weekend or two. Oh, mommy, I'm so terribly, awfully, horribly frightened. Whatever will become of me, I want to be...